Well, howdy folks. Hey, if you hear any banging in the background or the top ground or the four, I got the roofers here today. Second day in a row, replacing the roof after that hailstorm in September, finally getting that done. Oh my God, the racket, the racket yesterday. It was just, look, I don't know how those guys do it. They are hard workers and my hat's off to them, especially in the summertime. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine? So anyway, if you hear that, somebody may come crashing through the skylight. I don't know. I hope so. Wouldn't that be fun? No, I would because then you gotta fix it. Ugh, home ownership, right? All right, everybody. Hey, time to shave. It's Friday. I took a shower. I did my hair. Yeah, it's all right. I approve of the hair today. Sometimes I'm like, what? The? But today I think I think it's okay. It's settling in nicely after that iffy, iffy few moments there at the beginning, the old great clips, which I love. But okay, so what are we going to shave with today, folks? Well, I'm going to revisit the old Proof Razor. Do you remember this? This is the new version that they sent me uh, not too long ago. It is a single edge, like a um, half of a normal razor blade. I'm actually using the leaf, <laughs> but you can snap any razor blade in two to get this. So you just take a regular razor blade, snap it in two, and use half of it. So single edge razor. It's got a lot of magnets in it, baby. A lot of magnets. Uh, it's handmade by a couple of guys in Montana. The guy who founded the company just decided, you know, I want to make a razor. And he was just going to do it for himself. And then he's like, you know, it's pretty good. So uh, let's load this thing up. If you want to watch my review of this, it's from a while back. The magnet not only holds the blade in, as you see, but it also holds the cap in. And this, as I've said from the beginning, this is the only thing I wish they would send you two of these just in case one of these goes missing. But when you're traveling, as I showed you before, just take it in your dop kit or in a Ziploc. Now, here's a little holder that comes with it, too. You don't have to use this, but you can, you can, uh, this is like a sticky part. Stick it on your thing, and then uh, it's always ready for your use. So, we're going to shave with that today, the Proof Razor. Now, it is a bit pricey. It's $120, which I think is, I think... I don't know what it should be. I'm not going to di dictate that because I'm not <laughs> I'm not an expert in that. It's, it, I think the first blush, a lot of people would say, Ugh, but this thing is going to last you a year, whole life, you know, as long as, and, and the, the cool thing is they have a full refund policy. If at any time in the life of buying, the, I just read their website. That's how I know this. <laughs> I was just like, what's this, what's this proof razor about? So that's pretty cool. I mean, if you just don't like it for some reason, 10 years from now, say, ah, eh, give me my money back. What do you got to lose? Anyway, it's a pretty dang good razor. I do remember that. And if you're kind of scared of safety razors and don't want to get away from cartridge razors, you want the ease of use. And as the guy said on the website, the ease of use of a cartridge and the cost effectiveness of a safety razor. I think this is a pretty good, pretty dang good razor. It gave me a really close shave. Let's try it again today. Took a shower, did my hair, as I stated. Oh, let me show you the prototype. They sent me the prototype a long time ago. Here's the... The brand newest one with the little, uh, it's got little lines on it. Here's the prototype they sent a long time ago. See how it's, 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 it's got a little bit longer and the handle is no longer completely hollow, which I like. I like that. And then they sent the new one, which is the high proof, but I think they dropped the word high on it. So it like high proof, like whiskey. And they just went with proof because that's their, their website is still highproofrazors.com, but their razor is just called the proof. All right. I said proof enough. Let's shave. All right, so what kind of shaving cream are we going to use? Are we going to get fancy today? No, the opposite of fancy. And normally when I mean we're not going to use that, I, I go for Barbasol, right? Isn't that funny how it's always at my fingertips? But today we're going to go with this little relic. This little relic from Pennsylvania, from the barn, from my, my wife's where she grew up. This was in the cabinet. This was in her bathroom. I don't know for how long. But it's the old Eckerd company. Do you have, did you have Eckerds where you grew up? We had them down here in Texas. It was my preferred one. And then Walgreens and CVS took over and Eckerds was gone. I don't even know if they're still around. But anyway, they uh, have this shave cream. It's regular. It's 14 ounces. You can read that on the back if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to. But we're going to try this out and see if it works. It's a little rusty. Cat's nothing to see there. It's a little funky. Let's pop the top off and... Uh, maybe we can't pop the top off. Normally you can just like pop that thing off. I think we're going to let it, leave it lay, let it lie. Whatever you say. Anyway, we're going to use this Eckerd Shave Cream from who knows when. Could be the 90s, could be the 80s. Um, there's a serial number. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> so anyway, I guarantee you, 
Not a guarantee. I guarantee you that I'm the only person in the world shaving with this old Eckerd shave foam today. So that's what we're shaving with today. Ooh. What does it smell like? It has a very mild soap smell, but it's very rich and creamy. And the dang thing is full. I don't think, I think somebody bought it. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, the, judging by the graphics, that's gotta be, oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, boy, it's rich, man. This is some thick stuff. All right, I like it. Woo. All right. And then for an aftershave, we're gonna get the O-Rub. <laughs> you get rubbed, that's what I always say, I don't know why. All right, so here we go with the Proof Razor, handmade by a couple of, as they say, a couple of guys in the middle of Montana. And uh, they, wanna, they wanna give you another good option for people that don't wanna give up their cartridges, want that same sort of experience, which is kinda what you get with this. It's got a pivoting head, by the way. See that? Pivoting head. Got a little uh, spring in the back. Some people in the reviews were concerned about the longevity of the spring, which would be a concern for sure. And I haven't used this razor since I tried it out. I don't think. I think I kind of had it in the... i to make sure my sideburns all lined up there. It's tough sometimes to get those sideburns lined up. Right, Geo Fat Boy? Geo Fat Boy's got to clear the runways. You can learn a lot from uh, YouTube shavers that are out there. I did, for dang sure. Now, the only thing I think I remember disliking about this razor, well, first of all, it feels like a cartridge razor, which is not my preferred feel, but um, it was this. I was having a little bit of trouble getting it right underneath my nostrils because of the shape of the head, but that's easily bypassed. When first doing that down pass like I just did. Now there's still plenty of little whiskers right here, which I hate, bugs me. <laughs> it's my slight OCD. I'm too lazy to be fully OCD. That would just drive me crazy and be like, ugh. But man, some things. So I just go sideways and get right up under there. This was the only thing I remember going, nah. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, getting under the nose. But there you go. I did it. Nice and smooth. Ooh, I see the... Uh, the foam seems to be breaking up a little bit on my chin. So it's a very mild soap smell, this Eckerd's, as if you can go out and get some more. I don't know. I should have looked to see if Eckerd's even exists anymore. But, uh, all right. So like I said, I'm using a leaf. <laughs> yeah, you know the leaf. That's the one. Top is open there. I let it dry out. Uh, that's my favorite single edge. For sure, bar none. But it doesn't feel like a cartridge razor necessarily. I mean, it's close. It feels closer to uh, the shave you get from a safety razor than a cartridge. This one feels much more familiar for uh, cartridge razor users. I did, they were cool enough back when they sent me this one. They sent one to my dad, and instead of saying high proof, it said Papa Sinatra on it. I think I, I told you guys that before. You may not have seen that video, so... I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but how cool is that? I don't think he ever got into using it because he's just an old dog that don't want to learn new tricks. Right, Dad? <laughs> he watches these videos, by the way, folks, so if you want to say hi to him in the comments, he reads them, I think. Do you read them? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that pleasant. It's a pleasant, just, just a pleasant, just, just, just. soap. Hot soap. It doesn't have to be. Subtle hints of verbena and wood smoke and current and uh, uh, yeah, it just smells like so. That's nice. That's nice. That's what I like. All right. So let's see. Okay. Still got a lot down here. Did a real good job up here. You could be one and done like with any razor. You can get out the door with one pass. But if you got a little more time, maybe you just feel like it. You can do two passes. We're going to do two passes, maybe two and a half. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about, like, I noticed before I started shaving, I always check the inside of my ear for ear hair growth. When you get to a certain age as a man, <laughs> things start to grow hair that never did when you were younger. And I know a lot of you young guys are watching, but 
This is your future, unfortunately. I didn't want to believe it either. But here's what you do to take care of those pesky ear hairs, both on top, on the back, and inside. The easiest, quickest way. Just get a cheap, you know, this is the Philips Norelco that I've had forever. And just do this. Make sure you go on the sides, the back. Do your little... It won't cut you. Don't worry. You can really get it in there. You can press against that ear. And that'll keep you nice and smooth. Now, even if you haven't noticed that your ears are now growing crops of hair, I guarantee other people have noticed. I guarantee your wife has noticed. And I guarantee that your kids have noticed. So, guys, you need to not own... Don't neglect. Don't neglect grooming everything that you want to groom. You know, that you feel... That you feel is important to groom. Maybe you don't care. And that's fine, too. Grow hair everywhere. Have those crazy eyebrows that go nuts. I don't do that either. Let me show you what I do for that. This was... This is the best trimmer I've ever used. It's a little wall. You can get them at grocery stores. It comes with a... You can use it without the guard or with, but if you have this guard on it, which comes with it, you can just do your eyebrow hairs, which is the major culprit of older men in their 50s and later, is those crazy giant eyebrow hairs. I used to get like my other trimmers out and like a little comb and have to like make sure I didn't shave off my eyebrows. But you do that, there you go. Don't ignore your upkeep. <laughs> uh, don't ignore it. So. I think you'll get a better response. You'll feel better, hopefully. You'll get a better response from your loved ones. <laughs> I mean, if they're judging you on how much ear hair you have, well, maybe, maybe you need to find a new family. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter after a while. It doesn't matter. You know, that's kind of the beauty of getting older, getting married. You just become, I hope, for, uh, at least it has for me, you become more comfortable in your own skin. If you if you stay on top of stuff, here we go with the second pass, folks. Across the grain. You just don't care so much. You're married, you've got kids, you don't need to prove yourself to anyone anymore. Now, when you're young, it's very important. My son, mm, it's paramount right now. You know, when you're in middle school or when you're about to be in middle school, that stuff is the most important thing in the world. And you just think it's never not going to be. But the beauty of it is, all that stuff goes away. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, don't do what a lot of older people do and get cynical about everything. You know, the get off my lawn guy or the, oh, that music is all garbage. Give it a try. I mean, listen to it and then have an opinion. But don't become too cynical. I, uh, cynical people aren't any fun to be around. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's my dad advice for today. Take it or leave it. And uh, Papa Sinatra, if you got any uh, uh, fatherly advice, leave that in the comment and people can comment on that. I don't even know if he has a... I don't think he can comment. He might not, are you even signed in? I think so. I would hope so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so we're going against the grain, up the neck. Now, if, you, if your skin can't handle it, don't do it. You know, the old rules apply. Now, you might be wondering, with a cartridge razor, you can press, you know, more firmly against your face to get a good close shave. You don't do that at all with a safety razor, but you can press more firmly with this one. So that's one of the beauties. If you just don't want to give up cartridge razor shaving, but you don't want to spend that money anymore with those insane cartridges, and there's no subscription to this thing either. It's just, you buy it. You can buy some blades from them. You don't have to. You can buy them wherever you want. 120 bucks, lifetime guarantee. You can return it for the life of the dang razor. I don't know. I just, they didn't ask me to talk about this. I just found it and I did a little bit of research to remember what the deal was. And I was so, I thought it was so cool that they sent me all the prototypes and everything, the little stands and thought I'd give them a, another shake because it had been a while. And uh, when I remember there was a couple of guys up in Montana, I always support small businesses like that Yates Precision Manufacturing and these guys at Proof Razors. Highproofrazor.com. I'll put the link down below. I love supporting small businesses and entrepreneurs that are really just trying to make a good product, you know? That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's wipe down and see. Yeah, problem areas. Otherwise, extremely close shave. I got a great comment, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry I didn't uh, jot down your name, but it was like from yesterday, Thursday or, or Wednesday. 
saying that he had just discovered my channel somehow. And he's like, I find this is the first time I've ever shaved with a, a safety razor. And oh my gosh, I can't believe it's taken me 20 years. And I know I had the same feeling. So I love that. I love it when people discover something. I mean, this thing's been in front of your face your whole life. It's been, it's existed since, you know, 18, whatever, right? 19, whatever, early. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for those comments. I read every single one of them, even if I can't respond to them all. I read them all, and uh, I want to re reiterate that because I think I forgot to talk about that recently. All right. See, I'm not even putting any more. Uh, I got water on my face still. There's still so that's why I didn't dry my face off. So that's why I'm doing it without um, uh, shaving cream. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. This I I wouldn't use this on a daily basis just because I prefer the feel of a safety razor. But if you are in the market for something like this, and this appeals to you, man, you can't go wrong with this one. And this new design is way better than their last one. Way better. The magnets are super strong. So, you know, use a little caution and keeping head of that, uh, keeping track of the little magnetic head, and you won't lose it. You know, just pay attention. That's the only reason we lose so much stuff in our lives because we just don't pay attention to when we put them down. We're like thinking about something else. We put the keys down, talking to the wife, and the kids are yelling at you. You know, thinking about that thing at work. Just stop for a second and go, okay, I'm putting my keys down. Boom! And then they explode. That's a little trick I learned from some one of those dumb memory classes you had to take in, you know. When you work for a company and they go, well, we want you to take some betterment classes. So I took a memory one, and that was part of the trick, is when you put something down, imagine it having an effect on the thing you put down. Like, I always imagine an explosion. Put your keys, boom! That way, the next time, there will be something that triggers your memory. It's just paying attention. Same thing goes with lots of other things. Just pay attention, especially driving. Okay, pay attention to this because this is Osage Rub and we're getting out of the bottom. How many how, how many years have I had this? Is there a date on here? Can you tell I need my readers by how far I'm holding this bottle out? My goodness. <sighs> yeah. I have two pairs of readers now. I don't use them very often. I should. Oh, man. That didn't burn at all. Normally, Osage kicks my behind. Yeah, it's good. See, I think that's a testament to, the, uh, to this razor. It's a mild razor. It's not going to give you, you know, a ton of blade feel, which you don't want that necessarily. Kind of like the Mula R41. That's my whipping boy, that one, the Mula. But it doesn't give you blade uh, uh, feel. It's very mild. Uh, two passes, psh, you're clean as a whistle. Anyway, there you go. Osage rub. Ah, go back in the door. I'm tired, folks. I got more stuff to do, though. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks to the folks over at High Proof Razors for sending me this. And the other two back in the day. It's always interesting. And thanks to Eckerd's, the Eckerd brand company, for this thing is huge. It's full. So I don't know if I'll... Maybe I'll... If we ever move out of this house, I'll leave it in the drawer and the next person can have it. <laughs> I'll probably not. I'll just throw it away. All right, everybody. Did I forget anything? No, I think that's it. All right. Me and my little buddy here going out in the town. So uh, have a good weekend, everyone. See you later.